All right, guys, it's evening time. Of course, you've seen in the video, we did not get any fish this morning. So what we're doing is we're going back out to check the poles and put more baits on. So follow me. Let's go. Peace. Good evening guys, we're back. We're in our hole. And if you haven't noticed, since we got here this morning, the water's still going up. It is now at 18.63 feet. So this little scar hole back here is filling up. If you look over there, you can see the fish action in the water. It's a lot of water movement. So like I said earlier, we're gonna cover the bait placement. Now we're gonna start moving bank poles down here towards the head of the hole because now we can reach down and get lines down into the water we got this big tree that's been sitting there for a while and we're behind these log jams so if we can sprinkle some bank poles here we're not adding any new bank poles what we're going to do is take our old bank poles out and we're going to move them around and make adjustments spread them out a little bit and see if we can get uh any more bites so the river is going to go all the way up to about 23 and a half feet so if you're looking at 18 we got about mm, about another five feet or so we can go when this gets up that high we can do all sorts of things we can set top water baits with bluegills back here because this is out, out of the current now and there's going to be a lot of splashing which will draw catfish out of this log jam if they're in here this will be the spot to put any kind of uh, baits that are going to be top water or whatnot but as you can see too there's a lot of turtles down here so you do not want any bait sitting directly on the bottom everything that you want to do is should be a suspended bait off the bottom so if you're going to fish deep don't have it sitting on the bottom where the turtles can feed but you also want to have it far enough out where you can catch fish coming along this bank line and feeding and they're going to come out of that current over there because the river's going up and it's going up fast so any fish that's trying to get out of that current and rest, those fish will be there waiting on baits. Picking off baits at the head of the hole, like I told you, so bait placement. And also, don't want to lose any poles. So we're going to go down here and check the poles, see what we got on our poles. We'll be back. Guys, what we're looking at is we're back at the spot. Now that pole over there has got a little drag to it little bounce to it but i don't know if that's because there's sticks up on it or i don't know if that's because there's a fish on it but it's a nice little pulling so we'll check that but guys this is the mistakes i tell you you got to watch for now the river i told you was coming up fast so unfortunately because of that some of my bank poles are now underwater not all the way underwater but partially underwater so with that being said hopefully i can even get to all my bank poles because i may not even be able to pull these bank poles out so that's um would be a fishing failure guys do not lose your bank poles to stuff being flooded now if whatever i can't get out of here this afternoon um i'm just going to hope that they're stuck in the ground well enough that when the river does come back down that i can come back out and get them so wish me luck guys but I got to safely be able to do this, so I got to figure out how I'm going to make this work. I do know that there is ground down there, obviously, because the poles are stuck down there. But the ground is probably slick. But we don't know how. We know we've been walking on it, so we're only going to do what we safely can do. If we can't get it safely, we're not going to get it. So keep watching. Big Muddy Catfishing. Peace. All right, guys. I'm down here. I've managed to get to two of my whisker whoppers and remove them. I don't think that I can get down there and get to that uh, fiberglass pole and I have a jug down there now the jug may float up with the river so I may get lucky in that retrospect but I'm probably going to lose a fiberglass pixie stick tonight but on the brighter side I think we got a catfish I seen this thing jerking down just a minute ago with a nice bounce so we're going to try to get these line pulled and see what happens wish me luck 
Big Muddy Catfishing. Peace. All right, guys. I am down here. I've managed to get to two of my whisker whoppers and remove them. I don't think that I can get down there and get to that uh, fiberglass pole. And I have a jug down there. Now, the jug may float up with the river, so I may get lucky in that retrospect. But I'm probably going to lose a fiberglass pixie stick tonight. But on the brighter side, I think we got a catfish. I seen this thing jerking down just a minute ago with a nice bounce. So we're going to try to get these line pulled and see what happens. Wish me luck. Big money catfish. Peace. Guys, just for pre-warning, for any viewers, especially younger viewers, what I am doing is typically dangerous. Do not walk into a flooded river to get your poles. If you can't receive, get them, ask somebody to take you out in the boat to get them, or just accept the loss. Me, I'm kind of hard-headed, so I don't want to accept the loss. But what I'm using is I'm using this long stick. I'm making sure that the ground that I was walking on this morning is still there. And as you can see, the ground is still there. So I'm going to walk over here and get this pole out of here. I can't record and do that. That'll be the last pole I pull before I check the pole with the catfish. Hopefully it's a catfish and not nothing else. So wish me luck. Big money catfishing. We'll be right back. Peace. All right, guys, we got our we got our whisker whopper. We pulled it. So, on the purple whopper, let's see what we got. Ooh, he's pulling me. You know, we lost a fish like this last time. So, I'm always wary of pulling them in with the string. But... Y'all see that, guys? That's a monster. That's a monster right there. A monster. That is a monster catfish, guys. We've been waiting, bank polling, since Saturday. This is Wednesday, and we got another fish, guys. So tell me if I know what I'm talking about when I tell you I know how to set bank poles on foot. Look at this, guys. We had th we caught three flatheads so far. This is our first blue cat. Our first blue. And he's a nice size, baby. Nice size. Big muddy catfishing with your host, Mr. Bank Pole Joe. This is what we do. Get nice size fish. I know you guys can't really see. He's got that hook set reel in there. Oh, he's a hefty boy, too. <sighs> uh, woo! Oh my God, look at that, guys. Look at that fish. How am I gonna get him up the bank? We're gonna drag him, and hopefully that uh, rip and lip hook holds up. But we gotta get him up the bank somehow. So wish me luck on that. But y'all see that, guys. We're gonna try to get him up and get a weight scale on him and see what he weighs. Wish me luck. Big muddy catfishing. This is run number three. And on run number three, we didn't have any fish this morning, but fish on, baby. Biggest fish of the weekend, biggest fish of the week, biggest fish of the trip just so far. And probably my big catfish of this year. Let's see how much it weighs, guys. Monster, monster blue alert, monster blue. Bank poles on Missouri River for monster catfish. This is what we do. We will be right back. Guys, look at the size of this beast. It is a beast of a blue. It took me a whole lot of work to even get him up here. That's a beast of a blue, guys. I don't even know if I can get him picked up to weigh him. But that's a hell of a blue right there, guys. One heck of a blue. If you want to get an idea, let me show you something. So my bank pole is seven foot long, and I'll start that at his head from his tail. Now, I know from the tip of this red part to the end of this red part, it's five feet. Now look at that, guys. Look at that. That's the tail tip. Tail tip makes it all the way to the handle, and that's the five foot mark. So 
I say that's about a foot. This has got to be at least a four foot long fish. Oh my God, is that such a beast, guys? Did we get it? Big Muddy Catfishing with your host, Mr. Bank Poe Joe. This is what we do. Catch big old fish on the Missouri River. Uh, check me out, but guys, if you haven't, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know what you got to do, guys. Guess the weight on this and see if you can get the prize. Now, I bet you guys will have a problem guessing the weight on this. Check it out. We'll be back. If not, this will be the end of the video on the run three to run four tomorrow. Peace.